what is going on YouTube this is Jim back with another video and today I want to talk to you guys about Halo Fire Team Raven the arcade experience exclusively at Dave and Buster's do me two big favors number one please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see I am very close to a thousand subs and I've been clawing at this goal for quite some time it is now within 30 subscriber grasp I'm very very excited number two Tell my friend Brent Casina, thank you so much for going with me because I am glad we got to go together and experience this together. Had an absolute blast. Now, let me tell you guys what I think about Halo. Well, clearly, as you could tell, I'm a pretty big Halo fan. Um, I was thrilled when I heard that this game was coming out, and I was dying to get out there to check it out. Finally called around the Dave & Buster's by me. They finally put it in. We were out there and playing it and having an absolute blast. Now, the thing that I really like about this game and something that I feel like the developers really took a lot of thought in was the overall presentation. And I say that because Dave & Buster's is a very big place. It's hustling, it's bustling. There are a lot of other people playing um, games. There's a lot of other lights. There's a lot of other sound effects going on. And it's very easy to kind of get lost in all that, especially when your screen is reflecting of the screen of the guy five feet behind you playing a game facing the other direction. People walking through, bumping into you. Oh, sorry, walking by. It's not a great place to really sit down and enjoy something, especially if you're like me, you like to play in a dedicated gaming room with your nice TV, nice surround system, and really lose yourself in an experience. When you're taken out of that element, sometimes it's not as great. But I have to give it to the guys at uh, Fireteam Raven who put this together because they really did think about this. It's in an encapsulated thing, so you don't have any weird reflections behind you. The sound is right there. It, you, really are, you really do feel isolated. The screens are nice and wide. There's no glare but behind anybody but, you know, looking around or like the lights shining behind you. And it's really easy to lose yourself. Um, frame rate looks really good. Graphic quality is pretty good. Um, really fun experience. So you're going to play as some ODSTs. And this is another layer of it as I started to do a little more research as I was getting ready to put together this video. Um, you're going to play as ODSTs who are involved in the Battle of Installation 04. Obviously, we are talking about the very first Halo, Halo Combat Evolved. And what's so cool about it is when you look at the box art, not box art, uh, the art of the, uh, like on top of the display, um, you'll see that old Master Chief helmet and you'll, his body armor. And you, it's very clear if you're a fan like I am, you're obsessed with this stuff. You know it's not his later, latest like Mjolnir Mark VI armor. It's something a lot older. And then you're like, oh, wow, this is actually from the original Halo 1. And you're going to be playing as four ODSTs who were involved in the incident. You're going to be given missions by Wellesley, the ship AI, from the original incident. And they really took a lot of time. I'm, I'm really curious if Grim Brother 1 was involved in this, injecting all this lore into it. But it really fits nicely into the universe. And it's... It is somewhat of an on I mean, not it is. It is an on-rail shooter, and it is somewhat of a standalone experience. I don't think you're really going to influence anything outside of what you saw with what the Chief did. But it's really, really cool to be there and to be fighting enemies and battles kind of in the same vicinity as him. And actually, when we were playing through the first level, we were walking down this corridor shooting enemies, and the Chief busts through the wall, and he's, like, shooting people, and he, like, rips the door open and, like, fights through, and it's like, whoa, like, what a cameo from the Master Chief himself. It was just a really cool experience. So I really enjoyed it. Um, we didn't get through the entire thing. If you're going to... Um, I recommend um, considering doing the unlimited play. It's $15 on weekdays between, I think, like 3 and 7. Um, that'll give you an hour of un uh, unlimited gameplay as long as it's not a ticketed ride. You don't get any tickets for this game. So you could sit down and play through it. And the reason I think you might want to consider doing that is because we didn't get through the entire thing. We only played a couple levels. Um, uh, the, and, and actually, I didn't link my account until the second time. I was so excited, I just sat down and started playing, and then I was like, oh, I want to link my account, and then I put my phone down, and I was able to transfer some of my progress to Halo Waypoint, which it's just kind of neat. I, I think that's a neat little touch. Um, the reason I say you're going to probably want to do that is because, like all other arcade games, this game is very clearly gated and kind of forcing you to go through continues. No matter how good you are, you are going to die. You are going to get hit. And you're just going to have to accept that you're going to have to keep feeding in quarters and, you know, or tokens or whatever, in this case, the, the power card, um, to kind of continue your progress. And I understand that from a business model perspective. You know, they're not 
they're not going to say, hey, you could sit down and play an entire game for one play. Um, they're going to force you to do continues. And you can really tell that's true because uh, the first time Brett and I played, we were sitting together, and then we had two AI companions helping us out. The second time we played, it was two of us, and then another uh, group of people sat down next to us. So there were four human players, and we all died within about 15 seconds of each other. So I feel like there's things that no matter what you do, no matter how good you aim, if you're helping focus fire, shooting across the screen to help out your buddy, directly focusing on only things in front of you, you're going to take damage. And um, for that reason alone, it's kind of a little bit of a letdown, but I get it. It's an arcade game. I understand how these things work. There's a business to be made. Um, last thing I'll close on is the diversity of levels and missions that you do are really, really fun. Uh, we played with the Needler, we had a shotgun, we had the traditional assault rifle, we were on the back of a Warthog shooting a 50 cal at Banshees, we were on a Shade turret, and we didn't even see everything, that was just a small piece. Actually, we had the plasma pistol there for a little while, too. Um, but all the familiar enemies that you recognize, the Jackals and the uh, Elites, all make an appearance, the Flood makes an appearance, really, really fun games. I can't say enough good things about it. So if you are a fan of Halo, you really have to do yourself a favor. Head out to Dave & Buster's, check out Fire Team Raven. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.